Okay guys, a, a quick video here on my build of the X-Hover B-Roll frame and you've probably seen lots of footage of this already because I've been doing my review of the Caddx um, turtle camera on this frame. All the footage has been coming off of this frame. Um, it's a nice frame. Uh, it's got some flaws and I'll talk about that here in a second. Um, decided to build this with some Emacs 1106 motors. Uh, these are the 4500 KV with them running these uh, Avon 3 inch props. And I did that based on the uh, video you saw earlier on the Baby Hawk R 3 inch and the really long flight time I got with that one. I think that one I got a really long flight time because it weighs less than this one. This is a this is a heavy frame. This actually weighs I think about 30 grams more. So um, I wasn't able to get as long of a flight time uh, using this setup. So uh, if you're going to go with like some an 1106 type of motor, you should probably get a different frame. It's going to be lighter. That's, oddly enough, you know, they made this kind of a beefy frame, and it only takes the motors with the 9mm hole pattern, so, um, and you can see there's not much protection uh, in terms of crashes. If, you, if your motor gets dinged, uh, you know, by hitting the ground, there's nothing here to prevent the bell from getting damaged by the ground, other than the prop itself. But yeah, it can get, it can get hit pretty good. Um, yeah, I'm not really going to talk too much about the build, because... Um, the parts in here are just like some random stuff I put together. Really, all, what you want to do is you want to get two 20 by 20, uh, you, know, you want to get a 20 by 20 stack, obviously, with a 2 millimeter hole pattern. If you get the, if you use any components with a larger, like a three, these are the 3 millimeter screw, uh, the 2 millimeter screws will obviously fit those, but then they'll be, might be a little bit loose. The other thing that I noticed about this frame is that the st two stacks are really close together. You can see there's not much space there. So you're going to be limited to as to what kind of boards you can put in here. You can see that my boards are practically butted up against each other there. There's almost no space in between. Um, if you want to know what I'm using, I'll just put I'll put the links in the description. It's just this one here is the HackRC uh, 20 amp 401 AC and F F4 flight controller. I'm just using an XM Plus receiver. Uh, obviously I obviously have the Cadex turtle camera, and then my video transmitter is just a uh, HDLRC TX20 V2. So just uh, you know, standard off-the-shelf stuff. I think that if they they should they should change the the frame so this is moved back at least uh, another centimeter so you have more space. Because I think it would be better to put like maybe like a Zeus HDLRC Zeus F4 in here to make it lighter, and then they should cut out um, carbon here uh, to lighten up the frame both there on the bottom plate and the top plate. Now probably, they're probably doing that to make it stiffer, uh, I'm imagining, so to improve the flight characteristics, I don't know. I would like to, I'm just wondering if it would be, how much of a difference it would be in terms of flight characteristics if they could make those cutouts and make it lighter, and, and I just want, would be curious to see how that would fly. But you know, maybe they'll have a revision in the future. Now obviously they've uh, designed this frame specifically for the Runcam Split Mini, which has the M8 lens, so the mounting of that camera and the, setting, the angle you can set with that camera with these mounts here is, is meant for that camera, so um, I didn't actually try that camera in here, I'm pretty sure it would give you more of an angle, and also that lens probably sticks out a little bit more so the frame doesn't show up in view, but because of this wide angle lens and the standoff showing in view and the camera is tilted up, this, this is, um, you should probably look at, at maybe some sort of different mounting method for this particular camera on this frame if they don't change the design because you can't get a lot of camera tilt without having the, uh, the standoff show up in the HD video. Um, yeah, so I'm kind of limited to this amount of angle. Actually, I probably need to even get it down a little bit further. But so uh, if you're not using the split mini, if you only use the turtle camera, you're going to have this kind of an issue with this uh, particular frame on this camera. Okay, so the weight of this, uh, with the components I put in here, it comes in at 117 and a half grams. So overall, I think it's a decent frame. I think it'll hold up pretty well in crashes. Pretty decent camera protection if you're not if you're willing to go with the split mini. Um, maybe not have to deal with the camera angle issues. Uh, flight characteristics are fine. Uh, no issues with that. I don't, I don't think this is really meant to be like a racer or um, something you know that's going to be. Uh, flying super fast. If you're uh, going to be just using this to take HD footage in like areas that you normally can't fly 5 inch, then something like this would be just totally fine. And that's kind of what I'm going to be using this for with the HD footage I get from this camera. Just, you know, fly wherever, uh, local parks, and it's nice and quiet. You can get some HD footage of you flying around, cruising around, you know, somewhat 
acrobatic, but it's not. Uh, obviously, there's going to be other frames out there that are going to be better suited for racing and stuff like that than this one. This is really meant for capturing HD footage. Anyway, guys, I'll show you a little bit more footage from this camera and the flight from uh, another flight from this particular frame. If you guys have any questions, let me know, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.